just a total wreck, total mess. As survivors sort through the catastrophic damage left behind, search and rescue crews in flood stricken eastern Kentucky are intensifying their work to reach trapped people. It is absolutely devastating out there. I think the worst is still to come if we aren't able to clear paths and get to these people. Despite washed out roads, bridges and isolated terrain, crews are still finding bodies, raising the death toll. They've been battling hot weather for days and temperatures are expected to climb into the 90s Wednesday and Thursday. But combined with humidity, it will feel close to 100 degrees. It's going to get really, really hot. And that is now our new weather challenge. Last week's flooding disaster has killed more than three dozen people, ripped homes from their foundations and wiped away people's livelihoods. In 71 years, I never seen nothing like this. We work hard for ourselves. I mean, and then just to watch it all go in a matter of seconds, it's awful. Many of those who made it don't have a home to return to, as others deal with major power outages, lack of water, and disrupted cell phone service, making it hard to communicate with loved ones. Uh, with the heat, once it dries up through the day, it's just muggy, humid. People will suffocate. A lot of people on oxygen that don't have power are already suffering. I'm Mary Maloney reporting.